on with the DC Universe Series 10, the uh, one of the Walmart exclusive series uh, that I've just recently acquired the last three figures needed to complete my whole set. And this being one of them, it would be Forger. You see, of course, here the other figures in the line, Joker, Beast Boy, Robot Man, Man Bat, Power Girl, and the Black Suit Batman. And uh, you get his bio and statistics there. Oh, and the Builder figure, or Collect and Connect figure, Imperiax. So, Forger first appears in New Gods number 9 in 1972. Is obviously from New Gods, part of the Jack Kirby Fourth World series. The pretty neat, pretty neat sculpt. And uh, looking from the picture, uh, he wasn't that, you know, he didn't look that good. Uh, but having him here actual in person, uh, he's a little bit better than I thought he would be. I, I really kind of do dig him now. Whether it is the, the open mouth sculpt or the shoulders, the way they did the shoulders, or just the, just the overall design of him. Maybe that's because it's a Kirby, you know, influence there. Yeah, that, I'd say that that's probably it. Just to get close, you see his little uh, uh, eyes or glasses there, and he's got the, again, the nice open mouth sculpt. Uh, you'll probably hear me say this again. I'm not a real fan of the open mouth sculpt, but in this figure it works. Now, he does have a little bit of paint uh, mistakes or blemishes, I, I guess, you know, the first being right here on his head. Uh, I think that's more the plastic underneath showing. Um, I, I have probably touched that up with something, kind of hide that seam there. Uh, he's got a pretty clean pattern here going through, down through the legs. Except in this one spot here that uh, the machine must have slipped or, or some just because of the design or the sculpt of the figure, they kind of lost the clean, the clean line that uh, the other uh, side has. Well, even this side, you can tell that that's kind of messy there. This white here is kind of uh, kind of a little too gray for me. I would, just a bolder white, a brighter white might have been a little bit better. So he comes with, um, I don't know if you count them as, well, you count one as an accessory. Uh, his shield, got this nice little design on it. And if you turn it over, it has these cool leather looking uh, straps in there got very nice details on on the plastic there just slip right on there uh, on his other hand he has his trademark weapon which are his little acid pod uh, which obviously shoots acid pellets that really doesn't come off it does kind of wiggle around a little bit there, but it's meant to stay on. His head moves left to right pretty well. Um, it does have very slight up and down movement in his head. His arms do go around here, all the way around, but you got to move them around the uh, shoulder pads here a little bit. You can force it all the way up there uh, because these are soft plastic uh, and bend out of the way. Rotates at the bicep, bends at the knee, 
and rotates at the wrist. He's got okay upper torso articulation. The plastic here kind of forces him back over time to the neutral position, uh, which is all right. Um, I don't mind that too much. He's got waist articulation and legs go forward and back. His tunic doesn't really impede that much. His legs go out pretty far and back in. They rotate at the thigh, but break up the nice design pattern here. And try not to try not to pose him too much like that. He bends at the knee and bends at the ankle. Now, Forger is uh, supposed to have evolved from the insects uh, that lived underneath the New Gods floating city on New Genesis. The insects there have, in, have evolved to a humanoid form. He was sent by his colony to the New Gods in asking aid to uh, defeat the other um, the insect being that was empowered by Darkseid known as Mantis who sought to exterminate his own species. It's heavily implied he might only be raised by the by the bugs uh, but his real true background uh, remains unknown. Really, kind of just appeared here and there. Uh, not really big anywhere. Just sort of a background character. However, he does come to a pretty big prominence during the uh, Cosmic Odyssey story where he actually sacrifices himself to save uh, not only Batman, but the whole of Earth. Uh, and Cosmic Odyssey is a, is a um, great story from the early 90s. Um, there is a second forager who appears uh, in the, in the short-lived New Gods series. Um, done in the mid 90s she returns in the countdown actually starting out this weird relationship with Jimmy Olsen and later joins Donna Troy the Atom and Kyle Rayner as a revived challengers of the unknown uh, however, this is quickly done away with as, you know, Donna Troy and, and the Adam and Kyle Rayner go off and do their own uh, things, you know, uh, various things with Blackest Night and um, Wonder Woman and, uh, you know, and so... Uh, I guess she's still out there somewhere. Um, so anyway, uh, most people will recognize him among the uh, new gods. Uh, it done as a little cameo first in the Superman animated series. And then later in an expanded role in the Justice League two-parter Twilight, where he has a pretty big role uh, where he meets Batman and Wonder Woman. So anyway, he's a pretty cool figure, uh, and one that I'm 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 you know sad to say I wrote off at first as being you know just a little too goofy. But again, with uh, a lot of those these goofy, uh, seemingly goofy figures or characters, uh, 
they turn into actually quite good uh, figures. That's it for him. And stay tuned for my next review, which will be on uh, will be on Power. And until then, see ya.